what's going on youtube today uh we're having a little bit of different type of video today it is not a video on my gameplay or highlights today is a little tutorial on uh stinger transition and uh streaming platform that i use that i've currently been using which is called meld studios so what does meldy say it's a uh, simpler and easier well to me um platform to stream i set up my stream with ease no complications it's just easier and there's so much things you can do without all these extra plugins from other platforms so that's why i liked it and that's why i jump ship to melt so if you are interested in trying it out they are in beta right now for windows uh just go on the site join it and wait for the email uh they do not have an integrated stinger transition like others so today i'll show you how to get a workaround in this video so stay tuned so i went on google and searched for free stinger transitions and i came across this site called pro founder and just search for any free I just didn't have came upon this one. I already have it, but all you do is go to customize for free. Uh, you can add your logo, uh, which I did here. Just took a picture. You can just take anything. Boom. And then advanced settings. You can choose the colors. And you can click preview. You click preview. It will show a preview what it will look like with the colors you've chosen. Then you go to next step, um, which would then download. Um, it will download the files that are needed to get the Stinger transition as an MP4 format. That is the key. So when the file finished downloading, uh, it came as a zip file. You click that. And you go to footage and it will come up as different kind of backgrounds. So you have alpha mask, blue background, green background. So we're going to click this one right here. The blue background or green, my bad. We're going to click the green background and you're going to get a template file. And this is what you're going to need for meld. So let's get into meld and I'll show you how to import it into your uh, scenes. Okay, we are in meld now. And so what we're going to do is go to layers into any scene. This is my lobby scene for my stream. We're going to go to the plus sign, uh, add a media source. And we're going to find that template. I already made a copy of it. So this is it. So you, this is what it will look like once you add it to your scene. It'll keep going and going. So pretty much what it is is your this is a your a will be green and also your b would be green a and b has to be green so what we're going to do now is i let that play out so you can see we're going to remove audio track we don't need no audio we don't need to loop the back the playback so it's going to stop so now we're going to add play when scene becomes active so that's step one step two now is we're going to simply add a chroma key and voila there you go so if you're to leave your scene it won't show but when you go back there you go so now you're going to have to um so i found this this way to do it this way um go to your next scene you want it on i tried to duplicate a duplicator but it didn't work for me so I copy and paste the media source from lobby to my game scene and essentially all that uh, attributes is copied over. So now you do it, boom, you have a little stinger transition. Um, I have a lot of move stuff, so that's why you'll see it, but this is simply how it's done. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for tuning in. 
I hope you like it. Hope you try and implement it into your stream, your stream overlays and melds. I'm a fellow melder myself. And so like, subscribe and leave a comment below and have a wonderful Friday. Peace out. God bless.